to start right away, we do have a Greek restaurant in town called Theos. Have any of you been to our Greek restaurants? All right, thank you very much. And do you know what kind of food we serve there? Yes? Great. Very good. Congratulations. Uh, so when I was a little boy, like 13, maybe younger, my parents, Mary and Theo, started uh, Theo's restaurant. And one thing I remember is my mother used to bring uh, students into, this, into the restaurant and take them on tours of the restaurant and explain things that are in the restaurant and talk about food and talk about the art and just kind of see what kind of fun stuff was in the restaurant waiting to be discovered. And so we've been working with schools for, for more than 20 years, really. Actually, you know, about 30 years. And so last year, we wanted to do even more work with schools, not just in our, in our community, but even more like around the world. So we started this thing called All of Us. And All of Us, uh, of course, it's spelled wrong because you don't spell All of Us that way. But for us, we spell it this way because it's about the word olive. And so we, it's kind of a Greek thing. And so it begins like that. So last year, I was invited to speak to some students at Naramata who uh, also were interested in doing, creating some kind of change in the world. And so we talked about some ideas. And I suggested that uh, we use uh, art to create change in the world. And so what we did was we looked at uh, some of the needs in the world and where we could make a difference. And we created paintings. And then after we created paintings, we actually turned the paintings into uh, greeting cards, gift cards. Do you want to pass those around? You just pass them around there. So each of these paintings in the front is a student's artwork. And on the back is a student's uh, portrait and biography. You can pass those around there. And then what we did was we made all these cards and we uh, sold them in the community, in the school and uh, the art gallery and all around the town and outside of Pinnington as well. And then the money that they raised from the card sales, they put that money together, and then they were able to lend money to people around the world who were looking to create change in their lives by starting a business or by growing the business and find a way to feed their families, take care of their uh, children, their uh, village. And so the students in Aramata, through their artwork, created the cards. And then after creating the cards and lending the money out, we're able to help people around the world, like Joyce Dodo from the South Sudan. Anywhere know where South Sudan is approximately? Which continent it might be in? Yes. Africa. Correct. So Joyce has a bakery in South Sudan. And she makes these fantastic, you can you almost get hungry looking at these fantastic sort of donuts that she makes in this huge pot there. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So she makes these huge, beautiful donuts that she sells to people who are traveling through the village. And that's how she makes money to support her family. So she was looking to borrow some money, not to be given money, but just to borrow some money that she could uh, expand her business, buy some more cooking equipment, buy bigger pots, and be able to sell more of her, her donuts to people around the village. So the students lent money to Joyce. The students lent money to Kuku Matthias Gaba. Kuku Matthias Gaba in Togo. And he buys and sells uh, cereal and flour. And so people can make bread. So he buys it in big bags, sells it in small bags, goes around to the villages. So again, the kids didn't give Kuku money and just say, here's the money and see you later. Actually, it was lent to Kuku. And then, here you can pass this around too, actually. And then, also not just to one people, but sometimes to a group of people, like in Peru. In Peru, this whole group of, of ladies, and their husbands as well, formed what's called a co-op. And they borrowed money so they could create a whole bunch of farming and buy some cows, some really cool stuff. So there you go, you can pass that around too. So the idea for this project was, could we raise money through artwork that we create to then lend the money to people all around the world, and specifically farmers, because we were doing a theme on food. And then what's happened was we lent the money out, and now the people have been paying the money back. So every month, Cuckoo would send a dollar back, or Joyce would send a dollar back. And then the kids in Aramata got the money back. And then once they got the money back, what do you think they did with it? Any thoughts? Yes? They gave it to another person, exactly. 
So they gave it to 20 people to start. Then they got paid back, and then they raised more money. Now they got 30 people. Now those people are paying back. Now they have more money to spend, so they're going to have like 50 people. And so what's really interesting is that all the people that we are lending money to are having a chance to create change in their lives and to not just be given money, but be given more of an opportunity to create a uh, life that they would like to have for their family and for their villages.